Cecil, I hear there's a new C Sharp 9 feature called In It Only Setters. Can you explain that for me? Sure. So like you mentioned, In It Only Setters was just added in C Sharp 9. And it's one of those features that would allow you to apply immutability to your code. So you can imagine you might have a class or a type, but you don't want to have the properties of those change after it's been initialized. So this is one feature that will really help you do that. I see. Can you show me an example of this in VS Code? Sure. Let's go take a look. Great. So what you're seeing here at the bottom is that I have a person class defined. My person has first name, a last name, and also a Twitter handle. And also, each of those properties has a getter and a setter. So that means that I could retrieve the value, and I can also assign it a value as well. Now, if I wanted to create a new person, I could do something like this. Right? And I could say Jamie is equal to new person. And using the object initializer syntax, I could assign a first name, last name, and a Twitter handle. And kind of like what I said before, because each of those has a setter, I can even come in and change the value of her last name if I wanted to. Now, if I wanted this type to be immutable, I probably don't want to have outside callers have the ability to change the value. And so in previous versions of C-sharp, I could do something like this. I could change the setter to make it a private setter, or I could just completely remove the setter, and then now this is just a read-only property. And that will prevent any changes being applied to that type. But if you notice now, well, I'm getting an error on line 12. That means that, well, I can't initialize the value. And so, well, how do we how do we kind of work around that? Well, in C sharp nine, I can use the init keyword. And so instead of having a setter, I'll have an init property. I'll have an init value right there next to my property. And now you can see, well, I can assign uh, the last name whenever I initialize my new person. But on line 16, it still protects me because it won't let anybody from the outside change that value. I see. So this would be a great option if I needed immutability within my code. Yeah, exactly. Again, it's going to protect your code from changes from, again, the outside world. So you can have some confidence about what's happening. Awesome. If you'd like to learn more about our new C Sharp 9 features, head on over to our documentation linked below.